This is a Ruger 22 pistol. It's actually called a Ruger Mark III target pistol. Yeah, Mark III target. Chambered in 22 caliber long rifle. It's got a six inch barrel. Nice big serrations on here, very deep serrations. And the barrel's about as big as the body of the pistol. Stainless steel. These nice rosewood grips come with it. Beautiful pistol. Very little care with that stainless steel. Very, very accurate. Comes with magazines, 10 rounds, 22 long rifle. Charge, you just pull the bolt back like so. Let her go. Well, she's empty, so she won't go. But slide release. You want to be real careful not to get your fingers under here. I got a nice big old cut on my thumb one time. So this comes with adjustable rear sight, fiber optic front sight, the day glow green tube in it or something. My eyes are so old, I can't see those sights. I can see that green glow, but I can't see these back here. So I put a Burris Fast Fire on here. This is the second one I've owned. And the Burris has this little TV window. I call it a TV screen. And a battery operated printed circuit card in here that projects a red dot onto that screen. So when you look down this tube just right, you just look for that red dot. Yeah, right there. And then as the gun moves, the dot moves. But you put that dot on whatever it is you want to kill. Doesn't matter how you're holding the gun, squeeze it off. That dot's good after about 50 yards. I think it's a four minute of angled dot. That's how big it is in diameter. And if you put that over a squirrel at 50 yards, it pretty much covers most of them. So it's very hard to shoot something like squirrels beyond 50 yards. But it's really very, very accurate out to 50 yards. The set screws here on the back are where you adjust it left or right. But I'll tell you, if you're having trouble seeing those sights on your pistol, pick these up. They make these bases that you mount the fast fire on, or other scope manufacturers make these. And you can put them on just about anything, especially a Picatinny rail like this one. The scope mounting rail came with the pistol, by the way. But, see the slide release? I showed you that. Safety. Mag release. When these pistols first came back out, uh, they were called the Ruger T512s, a five and a half inch barrel. And it was a bull barrel. It was a blued model. And they were about as heavy as this, but my God, they were accurate. Big old blocky square front sight, square notch rear sight, but those pistols would shoot lights out. And this one does also. If you like shooting the little metal NRA targets, perfect pistol for that. If you like hunting squirrels and aren't too far away, perfect pistol for that. 10 rounds, comes with two magazines, so you got 20 rounds. This is as fast as you can load them, which is one of the pains in the butts. This button here is quite small and just keeping it down with your thumb on like a 9,000 pound spring 
it's kind of difficult for any length of time. So I made a plastic cap out of a dust cap and I cut a slot in it so it fits right over the slide and it picks up that little knob and you just press that plastic piece all the way down to the bottom and the follower fall goes all the way to the bottom, compresses the spring and you just drop your ammo in there. Really, really neat. I don't know where I got that idea. I must have saw it somewhere. Somebody had one or something that they were using. But this is one of my favorite pistols. These are kind of pricey. Stainless and flutes and all the cool sexy stuff. But man, do these things shoot. Would highly recommend it if you need one. I'm shooting today some old mini mags I had. This Ruger takes a tin round magazine. And we're just going to shoot a little paper target up here. Hearing protection always helps. Load. On. Very nice, very comfortable shooting gun. Very little recoil, easy to come back on for another shot. Really, really nice little, call it a hunter, but it could be a target pistol. That heavy barrel, it doesn't bounce around very much. These red dots, really good for old eyes. Don't have to focus on any sights. I'll run five more rounds from this side. You can see the action work. 